Greetings all, hope you've been well. Tuesday, May the 24th, and here's today's Seismic Watch. Lots of activity going on worldwide still. As you can see, the Ring of Fire here is just littered with 5.0 or greater magnitudes clear up into Alaska now. The Aleutians had a 5.5 today. Japan is seeing increasing activity again. Turkey had a 5.8 earthquake. Now this earthquake is a little sus suspicious to me. It's, uh, it's somewhat shallow and magnitude 5.8 but when you go here and look at the people reporting in look how widely felt this 5.8 earthquake was. There's blues clear up here into you know different countries. And as you get closer to the epicenter we see intensity 8, intensity 7, intensity 7. I've never seen this high of an intensity from a 5.8 earthquake. I believe the USGS is downgrading these magnitudes for whatever reason to cut down on panic or fear or whatever. USA, as I said, Alaska is seeing increasing activity. The Aleutian Isles. New Hampshire had a slight movement today. Northern Washington north of Seattle in the Everett area is still seeing some activity in the last 24 hours and of course California is lit up we know that right here this is an area of concern here on the triple plate junction there's been activity there just as you can see it's seismic activity continues its steady increase and here on the subduction zone you can see we still had some activity I believe this was a 4.5 in the last week 4.6 well, that's concerning people Juan de Fuca sub subduction zone I made a video a couple days ago stating about a premonition I had during the night of the Wessex full moon I'll be making a vlog later today discussing that I feel the time is now to put it out there I'll check the LISS. Slight activity here and there. And then lastly what I wanted to show you to further my statement about the USGS downgrading earthquake magnitudes. Here from Set You Free News we have the case of the missing 8.4 Libyan earthquake. Two different European earthquake monitoring sites reported an 8.4 earthquake deep inside the Libyan desert about 30 miles southeast of Sinawin, excuse me, on May 19th. The epicenter was approximately 120 miles south of the Mediterranean coast and roughly 200 miles southwest of Tripoli. You can click here for details. I'll have this link uh, in my video description. You guys can check it out. And it goes on to say, oddly, this earthquake does not appear on the USGS website or any other earthquake reporting site. Interestingly, the largest nuclear device ever detonated, the 50 megaton Soviet made SAR Bama, would have been capable of producing almost an exactly 8.4 earthquake on the Richter scale had it been detonated deep underground. So there you go, guys. It's, it just doesn't seem to add up. An 8.4 earthquake is a significant earthquake and the USGS is not showing it and just about every earthquake reporting site runs their data from the USGS so there you have it for today's seismic watch again areas of concern for the next week Japan Alaska western coast of the United States and possibly the Middle East here. Be well, everyone.